son wants to dress up as a spider for Halloween. You no know, spiders have black beady eyes and not two color eyes with a pupil like this. But his costume's already all black, so we need to add a, some color to it somehow. So we're printing a two color eye. It's going to have a little LED light and a little watch battery in the bottom powering the light. I figured this was a good opportunity to use the dual extruder. I use Simplify 3D, of course. It has a really nice dual extrusion wizard. It works great for prints like this where you want to use two color. I loaded up the right extruder with green PLA, the left extruder with natural PLA. Printing at 0.1 millimeter layer heights, 20% infill, no support. But I am using an ooze shield. Now the benefit of an ooze shield is that inevitably one extruder is going to ooze a little bit while the primary extruder is printing at that time. So the ooze shield will catch any of those little stray pieces of filament while the other extruder is printing. The other benefit is that it works great to reprime the extruder. The idle extruder needs to prime itself after doing the retraction. In order to continue printing again, it primes itself while printing the ooze shield. It works pretty well. It's a little bit of a waste, but in general, it works pretty well. This is about a two hour plus print, roughly. Then there's gonna be a base to hold everything in. So we're able to disassemble it, reach inside, change the battery if we need to, or take the battery out entirely to turn off. No on off switch. for the spider eyes. It's got some little grooves so it can be sewn on to the top of the hoodie that it's going to attach to and it makes it so that you can remove and get to the battery and the LED. Um, there's not going to be a switch to turn the LED light on and off and I wanted to make it so you could you could access the battery pretty easily. So this is a just a simple black ABS base. I couldn't come up with a good way on this print not have to use supports and kind of a tight place to access. And I, I didn't really want to have to use breakaway supports with the ABS like I normally do. Usually those aren't too bad to get off, but in this case it needs to be a fairly tight fit and I didn't want to have to deal with trying to sand that or to make it fit like you usually have to do with breakaway supports if they don't break perfectly cleanly away. So I decided to use dual extruder again and this time I'm going to use ABS as the base material obviously, but I'm going to use hips, high impact polystyrene for the support material. The neat thing about hips is you can dissolve it away. So we're going to go ahead and try that. This is like only the second time I've tried this. The first time it didn't work. I guess I've tried it twice now. This will be the third time. It hasn't worked great, but I think in this case, I think I've got it set up right. The real key to this is that I've got the priming pillar set up. It's a quick print. only takes a little over an hour, hour and a half. Uh, printing at 0.1 millimeter layer height. soaking overnight let's check out the bottom parts of the spider eye and see how well the hips dissolved um, in the delamine solution this stuff really stinks like oranges pretty gooey now it's really just kind of a gooey mess I've heard you should dilute the, the solution with a little bit of rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol to help make it a little less viscous so it flows into the grooves just a little bit better. I forgot to do that. This part shouldn't require that, that much flowing around to clean it out, but I guess we'll see. 